Hello world, it's your boy Sasuke the God, and I'm here with Max. The ruler! The the, the ruler! <laughs> Alright guys, we coming to do a it's like a weekly rundown like topics that we feel like, you know, that was great to us and we want to talk to them. We want to bring them to you guys, you know? Let you guys know what we think about what's going on right now in the world. When animes, comics, you know, video games. We're here to bring that to you guys right now, you know? Yeah. And the first thing we coming to you guys with, you already know. My hero. Academia. Plus Ultra, baby. Plus Ultra. Yeah, guys. So, I know it's been, it's been some days past. I think everybody should have seen the episode by now. Yeah. You think so? It's the, it's the end. I mean, yeah. Okay. Because we're, we're starting a new season of anime. If you're a seasonal anime watcher, I think like, I think you're caught up for sure, a thousand percent. But that's only people that is diehard anime fans like us. You know. Again, we took a break and then we came back and look, we caught all the way up again, man. We there. We there. What up, RC, RDC world? We gonna see you. We gonna be the next ones that blow up. Max the ruler. Let them know. We met them and you didn't even want to meet them. Oh yeah, that was my fault. Sorry about that, guys. I still love you. But oh, again, no, I'm sorry. I'm oh, okay. So Dang, baby. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. But again, this is going to be a spoiler. We're going spoils with the My Heroes, guys. Talking about this Endeavor fight, bro. Like, Max, break down. How do you feel about this last episode of My Hero? Uh, all right. So, me and you have talked a little bit about it. I thought it was very predictable. What? I thought that, yeah, like everything was cool, the spectacle, everything that happened. I thought it was a good fight. But at no point did I feel that same, like, electricity that I felt when I saw All Might fight Nomu for the first time. Mm -hmm. Like that sort of, like, power, that energy mm -hmm. that you had in that fight. I don't think that was there in this one. I think that that's what they were trying to convey. I think I just read that coming, and it kind of soured that whole event for me. Man, that's crazy, because I it's like two sides of a coin. I had a whole different look on that, guys. Like, I totally thought, like, this put on my, like, my heart, guys. Like, like, to see the kid cry out, like, I, Endeavor's still alive! Still fight for us. His flames are still his flames are still going. I'm like, God damn. People really do love Endeavor. And that made me kind of start loving this guy, you know? I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't an Endeavor fan before. Like Todoroki, I'm like, dude, this dude got water through you got burned in the face because of your death. This dude's a bastard! Like <laughs> how dare he hurt my what he say? He said, How dare she hurt my prize? Like, he's like, dude, like <laughs> Dude, and Denver put so much work into getting those cheeks and having that son. Now I feel like, dude, he changed up. He like, I'm sorry I got those cheeks. I'm sorry I treated our son like that. I want to be a hero that you can respect and love. Like, he told Todoroki that. And I'm like, just seeing this battle and seeing like the, I don't, even, I don't even remember the dude name with the wings, with the feathers. What's his name? I don't remember his name either. But dude, seeing that guy and seeing him like, you know, of, I, you know, seeing him, just like, yo, you have to win. I'm here for you. I'm here to push you forward. I want people to acknowledge you the way I do. And that touched me, man. I'm like, God, like, where's Kachan at? And then the show Kachan, like, sad, like, because mm, mm, Kachan's my favorite character, guys. Thinking about, thinking about <laughs> I, I was worried about Kachan at that moment. Like, what is he doing? Do you see this battle? Like, what, what's going on with Kachan? And then you see Deku like, we the next generation. I'm like, God damn, Deku. Stop talking about this. We know you are. We know you're the next one. But just seeing Ende Endeavor going, I hate this. I don't even want to say this phrase. But guess what? I got to go plus ultra and just... Bro, that moment, bro, 
Once I see it in dub, I'm gonna be way more happier. I'm tired of reading anime and subtitles. I'm over I'm 41. <laughs> Again, man, it was just a good moment, guys. I thought it was really done really well. Max don't feel that way. How do you feel about the last part with, with Deku, the secret ending? Was it a secret? <laughs> no, it wasn't a secret. <laughs> was it? Uh, yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was really interesting. I, I, I don't. I, I think we talked a little bit about that also about what exactly that green stuff on him was. Mm. I think I tried to come up with some type of logic where that's like his suit in the future. I don't know. I'm not reading the comics. I mean the the, the manga. The manga. Mm -hmm. So it's it's getting interesting. I think. I think we're really gonna flush out some some real power next season. Yeah, I think so too. Like just seeing everybody, I think like how you said, it has to be something done with his costume. They just didn't want to spoil it for us. Yeah. But you seen the previous people that had all for one next to him, and I'm like, they, everybody had their like suits on. Granted, this is the first. If you only watched the anime, this is the first time we've seen all those guys like that. Me and Max seen the movie, you know, so I think we caught up to everything that's now in the anime, guys. Like, yeah, yeah, we. I have to start reading the manga now. To be honest, like, I don't want to, but I'm. I think I'm gonna have to do it. You just complained about the voice actors, yes. and now you want to read the manga. I got to, guys. I don't want to read subtitles, but you don't have to read this manga. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, talking about mangas, guys. We're gonna switch to comics right now. We got some new comics coming out. Are they coming out soon or? Alright, yeah. So, Marvel alluded to the fact that they're gonna take the week off. And the following week, they alluded to something to the fact that, like, they're just gonna play it by ear. Like, the first week. They're not releasing anything digital. They're going to hold in solidarity with the comic book shops that had to close because of this pandemic. But in the future, if things get too weird, we did hear word that, you know, comic book artists were told pencils down. We're not kind of pushing anything at the moment. Uh, granted, that's all for their protection. We understand that yeah. they're looking out for the people that's providing this content for us. I get it. We don't want, you know, to lose this stuff, but again, it's for their health, you know, you know, no. we, we got to think about others, guys. Remember, respect your neighbors. Continue with you. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, it's a little weird. I mean, I, I've ordered some books, just knowing all this was going down. I definitely didn't expect Diamond to close or, I guess, cease operation temporarily and kind of do what they're doing now like not paying people <laughs> like 25 percent, and then a payment method afterwards that's pretty crazy it's it's intense that is pretty crazy let me ask you a question do you feel like we're gonna lose a lot of mom and pop shops that does comic books yeah because the, of this the sad reality is that we've already lost a, a lot. lot of them yeah yeah and like chains have already kind of like fell to this but I'm saying, like, you know, how the last ones we have, what? We lost, we lost Meltdown, I think, last year or the year before. Yeah, it was, it was a few years ago, yeah. I think it was, like, last, the year before. And now we have, like, what, Golden Apple left. That's, like, our main one that's closest to us. Yeah. You know? Like, down it, like they do comic book, comic book shopping in Golden Apple now, guys. Like, check that out um, if you haven't seen it before. But I feel like a lot of places are going to fall now. It's gonna be a lot of mom and pop shops going, gonna be gone. So if you guys can, if they when they open back up, go buy some magic cards, go buy some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, buy something, you know, just show them that you support them, guys. Like at this point, even like I mean, a lot of comic book shops and other stores are doing this, where you can get a like a I don't want to say voucher, but like a credit with them, like buying, you know. A, a gift card and you'd pay it now and you'd be able to use it physically when everything kind of passes but wouldn't that be kind of like but you're keeping if you you know get a $50 or $100 gift card now 
you're putting that money in their pocket to keep them afloat. I get you. That'd be that's a good idea. Yeah. You know what? I might have to do something like that this week. Also, so far as ours and lots of others are also still fulfilling certain orders online. Hmm. So if you you know, like you mentioned, you want to get the Children of Adam, which I've ordered, but that's not coming now because of Diamond. I get you. But if you were to order something like a back issue, something that they have physically, there's a high chance that I can make get it. that to me. Okay. Cool. See? Well, I guess they do have ways to round getting stuff to us. You know, it's just if you want that new, new, like Children of Adam, guys, some new comments coming out. It's kind of X Men, but not X Men. It's with new mutants. But it's not called New Mutants. Hey, guys, this is going to be lit. So far from what I've seen, guys, it's like they have like New Mutants that they are training to take over spots of the original old mutants. Like you have a new Gambit. You have a new Cyclops, like a female Cyclops. You had like a, was it a female Gambit as well? I think so. Yeah, it was like it's different characters that's taking over spots of our original characters. Kind of like how they was doing it all new, all different Marvel. You know, how we got a lot of different characters, how they brought back, they brought back like old Sky, Cyclops. I was happy for that. Young Cyclops, we need champions back. I love champions. Champions oh. is coming. They have a new event happening called Outlaws. Yeah, Outlaws is happening. With Miles Morales? Uh, Camilla it, Khan? It mainly features uh, Miss Marvel. Come on, come on. Yeah, there's some others in there, but yeah. We need Amadeus Cho. Ooh, where's Amadeus Cho? I love Amadeus Cho, guys. I don't, I don't know your fascination with this group. Hey, bro. Yeah, there, there's this. something happening with that. That's where the new new warriors came in, and I guess that event has something to do with that tie-in. Mm, that would be so fire, guys. Uh, the new warriors, honestly, I looked at that. What do you feel about the new warriors? Honestly, just me looking at it. It didn't really hit me like that. It didn't... Yeah, the, the teaser trailer? Whatever. Yeah, it didn't interest me, bro. All right, well, for me, I think the Children of the Atom and these new warriors both, I feel like they're just not marketed to me. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a world somewhere where, you know, someone out there likes this. And I think Marvel as a whole, when they thought of that, they weren't thinking about me. Mm, so you think they were thinking about me with Children of Adam? The kids? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to be honest. Children of Adam is for me. I'm a, I'm a mutant fan. So I'm there for mutants. But the new Warriors, the, I did not like none of these. The only one I liked was the kind of one that was like Morbius. B negative. Yeah, B negative. And he was like, yeah, I'm an emo guy. I'm like, ah, he might seem pretty cool. Yeah. But safe space and... All other guys, I'm like, I don't really know about these guys, the twins. I definitely want to learn what internet gas is. I didn't know what that was either. I'm like, internet gas. Yeah. He's just like, time. yeah, I'm like, hold on, what is that? Like, what? like, I was confused. I was scratching my head looking around like, internet gas. Like, at first I thought I heard it wrong, but. Maybe it's ran identity. off gas. I mean, I'm not an engineer. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's maybe gas doing Wi-Fi. Uh, be like, hey, how's Wi-Fi work? I couldn't tell. Uh, yeah, you can't. It could, it could be gas, man. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. Who know? IDK. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, guys. But let's jump off this comic stuff, guys, because we have something new revealed to us by the gaming gods today. The brand new PlayStation 5 controller. The Dual Sense. This is a. Uh, it's kind of weird. I mean, I I don't know. It, it looks like an alien. Wear controller device. I don't know. Like something you'd see like on Alien the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna be real. I kind of like the look. I'm kind of digging it. If see, it wasn't blue, I think you being an Xbox fan would really vibe with it yeah i i looked at it i'm like this looks pretty nice if it wasn't blue if it was white and red that 
thousand percent, or even white and green, a thousand percent, I will be into this controller. It looks, it looks like, it looks like, even though it's, it's like you know white and blue, it looks dope. I can't lie. It's the first two tone color they've they've done for like their standard flagship, which, I mean, okay, uh, I don't know. I mean the. The nuts and bolts of it is that it seems to focus on sound. It, it really wants to get that across to you. Something about haptic feedback. I think mm. Xbox controllers have that already. Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I've never seen that kind of. Yeah, something about like the rumble being like really crazy. I think even the Nintendo Switch also has like haptic feedback. Oh or, shit. I think they call it HD rumble. Oh, I think we do have that. That's the other switch. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think we do have something like that, though. Yeah. I didn't even know. See, look, I'm learning new stuff every day, guys. Yeah. That's crazy, though. Honestly, head, head, you... less headset, less controller, where you, you can just talk. I'm guessing. Kind of like the Switch? Does the Switch do that? Yeah, the Switch has a microphone on it, don't it? Yeah, but I thought you needed, like, a separate app to, like, do stuff. Oh, no. I don't play like online doing. with people like Oh, that. okay. Like See, I thought, I thought the Switch has a mic on it. Uh, I could be wrong. Because I see people brought purchase headsets for the Switch as well. They play like Splatoon and stuff like that. So, I could be wrong. Honestly, though, um, how do you think this is going to affect the VR, though? Yeah. It doesn't seem to have a light bar. This is why I was holding off. Like, I, I have the money to get a VR now. And it's like... Five Nights at Freddy. I knew something was going to happen where I'm like, don't get it yet. Just kind of let everything come out first. And seeing this controller makes me very unconfident. I've seen other people online say that the light bar that starts along the top end of the touch bar wraps around the touchpad and goes along the forward side of the controller. Mm. So... Theoretically, the PlayStation camera could still see it, but I think everyone's still guessing at this point. I think with that controller is just seeing it. I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of a layup for them just to be like, "Hey, we're gonna redesign the PlayStation Eye." We, you, I think they needed a update on those PlayStation Wands for a minute. Yeah, I get you. They kind of revamped the VR. I think people were very disappointed with it being tethered with a wire. So I get it. Yeah, I get that. Maybe they'll do something with that. Maybe be like more like the Connect. Possible. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. Connect has its problems as well, though. But again, I'm surprised guys, you even remember the name of that thing. I, like I, they don't want. You, it's like a hey, curse word over there. That's I'm, gonna see, I'm gonna be <laughs> honest, guys. I use my Connect. Well, I did use my Connect. I gave it to one of my other homeboys. But, because I end up getting a better webcam, um, I, I pretty I appreciated my uh, my um, connect for what it did, man. It, it put some put some real work in over here. You know, people you know bad mouthed it. I don't really have nothing bad to say about it. You know, you try stuff like Nintendo. They try stuff. They try with the Wii U. I mean, yeah, Wii U. You know, it didn't work all the way right, but they got it right with the Switch. You know. So it's like you got to try stuff to see what fits you. Come back better, man. I don't know. Um, anything else you want to go down on a rundown before we end it? Uh, I guess very quickly, the ESA, well, E3 announced that they're not oh, doing yeah. a digital event. So that's really kind of concerning. I know the Inside Xbox came out today. Mm-hmm. And that seems to be cool. I think, was it his name? Phil Spencer Mm -hmm. said that, like, yeah, we're going to kind of, like, keep pumping this up. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be interesting if, you know, we can get new stuff and more stuff about Xbox. But with the E3 kind of backing out and Gamescom essentially saying, yeah, we're going to do something digital or in physical form on a certain day. We just don't know what at the moment. Dude. So Germany, it's like... You know, all, all set. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. It's gonna, it's gonna be weird not having an E3 this year, man. That was like, just seeing the conference from Xbox from Microsoft just like blows my mind every time, man. And that's last year we got to see Resident Evil 3, if I'm not mistaken, right? I think so. Yeah, I'm like, 
We got some good stuff last year. At, uh, what's the name? I, and this year, Sony wasn't going to even be there anyway. Yeah, no. Yeah, Sony, they said they was bowing out. I think they were trying to do the PlayStation event or whatever they was called it. I forget the name of it. Yeah, Experience. There you go. Yeah. PlayStation Experience. There you go. But, guys, we're running on a little bit of time. Stay to play. Stay to play. There you go. Yeah. What was the place? What was the experience then? That's the event that they had at the, like, the end of the year. Oh, okay. That they gave up on. Oh, damn. <laughs> they just like, you know what? Throw that away. Throw it all away. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Hey, guys, man. That's funny, man. But, again, guys, thank you for spending a little bit of time with us. We will be doing weekly things like this, a little rundown of little big things. It came out to us that we felt we need to talk about. Again, I'm Sasuke the God. This is Max, the ruler, the, 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 the ruler, 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 ruler. We gotta get that in play. Hey, somebody out there, put that in play for us. No. We need a sound. Not, get a look. Not a DJ. No, yes, yes. <laughs> hey. Or maybe, 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 but Max the ruler, guys. Mm -hmm. And we are the party nerds, and we are out of here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Feel free to jump in the comments. Feel free to follow on Instagram. Follow Max on The Real Party Nerds on Twitch. Follow me, Sasuke the God on Mixer. Hey guys, like I said, we coming with more content for you guys. We will be here. And we won't, we won't leave you guys. We love you. Peace. Wash your hands. Wash your hands.